Hi, it's Tamika Shelby. How many of you are realizing that things from your past are returning for a once more over, for a review work, for a second look? So if you'll notice, some of the things that are happening in this seven-year cycle we're in, so in 2012, you know, all this stuff was supposed to happen with the Mayan calendar and it didn't, nothing major really happened, but it has been happening incrementally every single year, every single day, every single week. So many things have happened, right, in the last seven-year cycle. But now we're at 2019 and we're beginning a new seven-year cycle, which is really significant and lots of things are still coming round from the previous seven years or even from before that. You might find stuff coming up from childhood that you haven't thought about in so long, like you dream about someone or a face comes in or, or an experience repeats itself and you're like, hey, I've been down this road before. I've already gone through this. Why am I going through this again? Well, don't beat yourself up. But when these things do knock on the door, when you find yourself getting a visit from a ghost from your past in whatever way, honor the moment. So if you can sit with it for a moment, give it some fullness and realize, whoa, there's something really interesting about this. This is a synchronicity and there's a reason for me to pay attention to this cycling back for me. This is a really powerful practice that you can do, is just give it space, even just noting it. If you dream about something from the past that feels ancient, you don't have to remember the whole dream. Just, even if it's just red dress, or pink car, or <laughs> elephant in your dream, I don't know what was in your dream, but you just remember one little piece and that will start to train your mind. It will bring threads of that knowing, whatever you were supposed to be getting from that. You don't have to know what you're supposed to be getting from it. That will bring it into your waking life and that will help whatever's going on. We don't have to know what it is, but it will help bring some meaning to that synchronicity. So there are a lot of things coming up from the past. My mother died like years ago now, like I think five years ago now. I didn't even realize it when I planned this trip, but I'm sitting here at Luna Azul in Costa Rica. The last time I was here, I came here right after my mom died before I flew back home. And, you know, I was with a really dear friend who helped me through it. I feel a lot of gratitude for that. And also I'm returning to that place of remembering what it felt like to feel my mother cross over and to know that she was transitioning. And I know you've got lots of things in your life that are reminding you of the past too. And it's all a beautiful tapestry. It's all so beautiful and so perfect. And what I suggest is just give it space, give it room to breathe anything that comes in from the past it's not really much more than that. Just give it space. Don't just run on to the next thing because I know you're busy. We all are. Know that this whole returning to the past is significant. There's a lot happening under the surface that we will never understand, but it's cooking us up. It's preparing us for the journey forward and it's going to light the way. We're going to be fine. Whatever you're going through, you're going to be fine fine more than fine i love you guys and i'll see you next time